like the data side of things and i wanted to do that and that's why i chose umass as the college for doing my pursuing my computer science masters so you would want to do something you like in networks or you would like something in security so the different colleges have different fields of computer science which they provide a good the uh, education in and a good exposure in you need 30 credits to graduate uh, 30 credits is roughly equal to 10 courses outside the department i can take 12 courses 12 credits not 12 courses 12 credits which roughly accounts to like four courses outside the department and even inside the department when you are taking courses there is a level of courses there's a 500 level which is a lower level course and there's a 600 level which is a higher level course now not that the 500 level course is going to be easy compared to the 600 level which is a research level course you have to have four 600 level courses in your entire entire, entire masters to actually get your masters degree there is a list of pre approved courses by your department from a, a, the list of outside courses which are pre approved by your department so for example i'm in computer science uh, now uh, it's related the data science is a part of computer science so suppose now i have to take math and stats there will be a list of stats courses from the math department in the university which is approved pre approved by your computer science department so you don't have to take permission from your department before enrolling for that course for example this semester i wanted to learn it project management that is that is what the business school offers which is totally different from for us uh it's a it's a it's called eisenberg school of management i wanted to take a course from there so i sent a mail to my program director and i i gave him a reason that why do i want to learn about this and it's not pre approved so he approved it and uh, usually there is, you don't get any fuss about it it's not like india where you have to like hassle with the authorities and stuff they are very nice about it they'll help you understand which courses you can take you cannot first and foremost is data science because our school is very high on data science we have a center of data science uh the next is security information security uh after that uh, we are good with the uh, theoretical computer science machine learning i took three courses like one was uh, machine learning the other was uh, algorithms and the third was statistics now machine learning had a lot of assignments um the second one algorithms had like two exams and assignment um machine learning had assignments which were all very practical we had kaggle competitions and stuff so that was very practical based uh then statistics had a lot of assignments which required a lot of solving and stuff and a very small project at the end so it's totally on the course that you're taking you'll see the structure of the course on the professor's uh, home page or the course page where you'll see how they have divided like usually what they do is they either assign a majority to a final project or a majority to a final exam be involved in the assignments like try the questions sit with them like struggle to understand struggle to get it and spend extra time than you would actually think that this assignment is going to take and then submit it and so the assignments would be like 50% of your grade and if you get that then you don't have to worry so much in the final exam or the midterms so assignments and homeworks and in class quizzes you re- you should do the readings before a class and go that helps you to understand and then attend office hours with the professor and the tas to better understand how do you solve it if you really want to prepare for something prepare revise whatever you have to do for your job interviews that's the most important